Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make a cute cupcake on the rainbow loom. For this charm, you'll need three different colors. And first you want to choose a color for the base part of your cupcake. I chose purple and I chose white for the frosting, but of course you can use any color. And then I have red for the cherries on top. Also, you'll need to have your loom in this configuration. Now begin by taking two red rubber bands for the cherry, and I'm going to be placing them from the first to second middle pegs, just like that. And then I'm going to be taking two white rubber bands, which is my frosting color. So using two bands at a time, I'm going to go from the center to the second right peg and from the center to the second left peg. Continue using double bands. Now I'm going to go up the loom once on the right side and on the left side, just like that. And then I'm going to take more rubber bands and I'm going to go from the right to the center and also from the left to the center so it creates a hexagon. I'm just kind of pushing some bands down on the pegs to make more room for new rubber bands and I'm going to extend out, continue using the frosting color and two rubber bands at a time in the right column, in the middle column, and in the left column like so. And your loom should look like that. And then I'm taking my second color which is purple which is the base color and I'm just going to go up the loom in every column one time. Use two bands at a time, and I'm going to go up again, just like that. Up in the right, up in the center, and up in the left column. And here's what your loom should look something like. Now I'm going to be connecting all of them, so going from the right to the center. Reminder, using two bands at a time for all of this. And going from the left to the center, so that... They're connected. Now take one single rubber band of your base color and I'm going to be placing the cap band. So just twist it twice and place it on that center peg there. Really easy. And then I'm going to take another single rubber band and I'm going to be placing a triangular cap band. You can really place this in any area on the purple. Take one single rubber band of your frosting color and stretch it out a little bit so it's not too tight on your charm. And in the right and left columns, go from the bottom and count up two pegs. And that's where you want to place this cap band. And you want to twist it so that there are two loops. Once you have that completed, you're ready to hook everything together. So turn your loom around so that the arrows point down. Okay, so begin hooking right there at the center where we put that first cap band. And of course, push back the cap band with your hook and pick up the first two rubber bands. And if you followed exactly what I did, it should go out to the right. And you'll know you've done this right because you'll see a slight teardrop shape when you place it on that peg. So pick up the next two and it should go out to the left. And I'm just going to go up on each column and that's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Um, don't forget to hook anything. So I recommend just hooking everything in one column first and then going to your next column. Also don't forget about the triangular cap bands. Now once you get here to the hexagon area, you want to go to that center and take the top two, they should go out to the right, and then the bottom two should go out to the left, and just continue hooking as usual, go up on each side, and then you also have that cap band there, so push past that and bring those bands to the center, just like that. And then for your red rubber bands, just stick your hook into that peg 
and pull those two up and that is what your hooked loom should look like um, and then now for the slip knot take one single red rubber band and stick your hook in that peg and pull the red rubber band through like that and place the open end on the hook and take the second one and pull it over the first so that's what your slip knot should look like and then you can remove your charm off the loom here's what mine looks like after removing it off the loom and of course you may need to adjust something so that's what i'm doing right now just to make it look a little more like a cupcake and just the shape be more obvious so i'm kind of pulling out the frosting area a little bit and other than that that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe